Hey, Tower Lights. It's Chris. Back again with another unboxing. Uh, this month we have the Marvel Collector Core. Uh, something that we've been very happy with so far. Uh, with Funko, these Funko boxes becoming even more popular as time goes on. We're looking at a new Star Wars one next month. Rumors of a DC one probably by the time Batman Superman comes out. But we are on, I believe it's about box four now uh, this year. And this month is Villains, featuring you know the heavy hitters from the Marvel Universe, uh, some of the best bad guys around. Um, so there's, hopefully there's no disappointments in this box and we get plenty of cool swag. So let's take a look. Uh, as usual, you know, we have the great uh, box that it's actually sent in, which normally has a little bit of artwork, the title of it, and on the inside, first open it up you have you know the panel here with all the classic artwork of the, from the comic panels and everything like that so this is a really nice touch uh, nice standard to the to the sets uh, another standard that we've come to expect every month are the collector pin and collector uh, patch um, which will feature the you know a character that's based on the theme so this month we have a red skull patch and a green goblin pin so these are uh, very cool, um, especially if you, you know, you put them in your bag or wherever you want to put them and they all start to build up after a while. So, it's, uh, these are really, a really nice touch that, the, that Marvel and Funko have included in. Alright, so let's get to it. First up, we have the t-shirt the that you get every, every time you get one of these. And uh, this month's is actually really, really cool. Uh, I was a little disappointed with the Secret War one. Um, as much as I know it's a Funko Pop box, you know, um, I just feel like maybe they shouldn't put a Funko Pop character on the shirt. It was Lady Thor as a pop. Um, I would rather see something like this or the Ant-Man one. The Ant-Man one was a pop, but it was still cool. Um, or the first one we got, which was the Avengers one with, you know, each one doing like a battle, like a boxing battle promo <laughs> with Ultron. That was cool. But this one looks really awesome. It has bunch of the classic villains on it kind of like almost like a blue blue uh, print form which shows the character and then it'll show like a little description of their weapon who they are different things like that so that's this is really really cool and this is um, a great shirt especially without any color it's it gives it a little more of a, a look like that uh, another standard that has been coming with all the boxes we have the uh, the variant cover for a current Marvel comic this one is the new Invincible Iron Man, which I um, I did want to read issue one, so it's kind of cool that I did get it. But uh, this variant features zombie versions of the Marvel villains on the front. Uh, I mean, Marvel Zombies has been very popular for years and years, so uh, no surprise there. All right, so to the little collectibles that you get with each one, um, we have gotten some dorbs in the in the past. We got a uh, an Ultron dorb from what I remember, and now there's this cool Loki one. So it's nice to see a popular character like Loki, especially, you know, they're really basing the whole look on the movie. Um, so this exclusive is is really cool, so, um, and cute. All right. Next up we have uh, Funko Pop Keychain featuring Venom, one of my favorite villains. Uh, I guess, you know, between him being a villain or an anti-hero, whatever you want to call him, but starting off of a villain, he is uh, the Spider-Man nemesis of all time. So uh, it's cool to get a little pop keychain, especially when I can just put that on my keys and, and flaunt my geek, geekiness. Uh, finally, we have uh, another standard of the box. Uh, Every one you get a special exclusive pop. So this month, it looks like we got Zombie Morbius. Um, it also looks like maybe there's a variant between the two. Uh, there's also a regular version. So we got the zombie one. And, you know, I guess this is cool. Um, I guess maybe because I'm not a big Morbius fan, I'm not really that big of a fan of this. So um, it is cool to um, see a zombie um, version of the character because it has become um, so popular and um, it's something that people are collecting. So. Maybe they want to buy it off. Who knows? But um, I guess I would rather have seen some maybe a heavy hitter, uh, more um, 
you know, more well-known bad guy. But cool enough, cool enough. So review the pop. We have the dorbs, the cute Loki dorbs, uh, and also the Venom pop keychain. Very cool. Uh, the Invincible Iron Man variant cover featuring Marvel zombies, and my personal favorite of the bunch, the Marvel villains T-shirt featuring. Um, some great artwork and looks at all the cool villains that uh, our heroes battle day to day. So, um, not a bad box overall. I'm going to give it a probably an 8 out of 10. Um, and that's it. Um, you know, I was thinking about canceling this subscription and seeing how there's a Star Wars one coming out next month. Um, it will be running on alternate months compared to this one. So, um, we'll see how it goes. The next Marvel box is Guardians of the Galaxy, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, and then one after that will be Civil War, I'm pretty sure. So I'd like to at least keep it until then. Uh, but yeah, check back with us next month. Uh, I'll be taking a look at the Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty collector's box, uh, which will be the first in that series. And uh, very excited about that, actually. So um, yeah, that's it. Uh, don't forget your towel, and this is Chris signing off.